Okay, so the basic idea behind this was to create a realistic Apollo-style uh, three-stage rocket in Gmod that could get to the moon and back without hoverballs or anything like that. Uh, I'm going to take you through the construction of all three stages and what each does, and then afterwards we're uh, going to see launch day and see how it actually does in space. And all right, let's go. On the bottom of the rocket is the booster. Uh, it's very simple. Its only task is to get the ship away from Earth. You'll see in a minute the sensor inside that lets it know once it leaves Earth's atmosphere to detach from the rest of the ship and let it fly free. And you can see it right there. Next up is the lander. The lander is probably the most complex part of the ship. Uh, it houses most of the life support resources inside of it, and it also has um, the red guidance computer that controls the ship during takeoffs and landings. Um, and without this piece, it would be impossible to safely land on the moon. Next up, we have the command module. At the very top of the ship is the command module. This is where the pilot sits, as well as the life support equipment and all the controls, and a very small life support cache, uh, because this is the only segment that actually goes back to Earth. Next up, you'll see the fully assembled Javelin rocket. Here you see the fully assembled rocket with its charging station sitting right next to it. It's ready to be fueled up and take off to the moon. I tried making the ship as easy as possible to fly without sacrificing realism. As such, the computer controls launch. As you can see here, I'm sitting in the cockpit. Life support just went on. In a second, I'll turn on the guidance computer. There it goes. And here we go. Now. There it goes. And I'm off in space. Now, the computer does not control flight in space, and you'll see quickly that I am a horrible, horrible pilot. Um, little glitch there, that was fixed up in a later model of the rocket. But you can see the moon and the Earth and some other planets slowly drifting by. If you look closely, in a minute, you'll see the jettisoned booster floating beneath us. But as you can see, I have a lot of trouble getting control, a lot of trouble moving towards my goal of the moon. It's nothing against the machine, I'm just not that great a pilot. Let's see, we should be seeing the booster in the lower right corner of the screen any minute now. And, and there it is. You can see it floating by. Anyway, next up you'll see the landing sequence. Alright, I finally got the ship back under control. You can see by the gauges that it took me a good while and I used up a lot of my life support. We're drifting slowly towards the moon. Now thankfully, once the computer senses that we've entered the Earth's gravity well, or I'm sorry, the moon's gravity well, it will take control and land the ship for me because we all know at this point I couldn't do it. Here we go and perfect landing. I'll now shut the computer off and you'll be able to see that on the screen. There it goes and now I can depart the craft and explore the moon. First thing I need to do after landing though is to come over to the fuel lines on the other side of the ship and patch the command module into the resource banks on the lander. This ensures that I'll definitely have enough life support to get home once I detach the command module and leave the lander on the moon. You can see also I have a suit dispenser there so that I can walk around freely but still have a place to recharge my personal support reserves. 
as you can see on the gauges on the left, uh, the command module now has a full tank because it's leaching off of the landers. And you All right, time to head back to Earth. The first thing I need to do is go over here, hit that button on the flight computer to release the command module. Now, I also should have disconnected that fuel line from earlier, but I was an idiot and forgot. You'll see that flailing about. And here we go, showing my wonderful piloting skills again. Despite the uh, spinning, it was actually a pretty straight shot to Earth. In a minute, you'll see my uh, balloon arresting system to slow the ship down. Oh, yes, wasn't that wonderful and high tech? Um, and that's pretty much it. To the moon and back safely. Thank you.